coach just talked about you guys at 40 in the first half and 11 in the second half. Just the same zone. What was it that either gave you guys problems or it didn't work in the second half? Um, I think the company was a couple of looks that was good. They didn't go down for us. They're playing a lot harder than they were. A lot more, play with a lot more urgency than we did. So uh, they were more definitely hammering than they are. So I think that was the cause of it. You guys got down early. You were able to kind of dig in and come back. Did it, was there a let off at the start of the second half, maybe a little bit, where you, you talked about they, they came out and played harder? Or was it just shots didn't fall and it snowballed? Uh, I think it was a combination of both of those and just losing our focus. Uh, we got to dial it in and tail what is next for them. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't come out with the same fire and family. Uh, that was the What is the key to going against that matchup so just beat them? Uh, really got to be aggressive and be passive with it. Uh, everyone got to be on one four. It's the type of games that can't just be one guy or two guys. You know, it's going to happen 20, 30, 20 nights. Uh, it has to be a collective. What were their guards doing to kind of get some penetration and get some buckets? Did they make it too difficult? Uh, yeah, they were kind of spreading us out, uh, setting high ball screens with a lot of space. Uh, we could have did a better job of our covering and our uh, active help on the weak side and on the ball as well. So. Dave, you talked a little about they spread, they ran a lot of full court trap things. Can you kind of talk about the difficulty of the ball handler, what that's like facing them on the full court? Yeah, you can tell that the goal of a uh, defense to kind of take you out of your rhythm. Take you out of doing what you do each and every day in practice, and they did a good job of that. So. One of the ways to beat that is to get the, the zone scrambling. Yeah. I felt like in the first half you were able to do that. The second half it, it didn't. Was that not making shots compounded, and then they it looked like they were comfortable in the zone in the second half? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I tell they were uh, comfortable in the zone. Uh, you can tell they work a lot on it. It's, they have to be very successful. There was a stretch in the second half in five minutes on which you guys helped them score, but it was just harder for you guys to close that gap. How frustrating was that in the moment? No one even getting stops, but couldn't capitalize. Very. Like I said, we got some pretty good looks there that didn't go down. Um, it looked like they were starting to kind of double that uh, ball when you guys got it inside there to Vic after obviously a seven point run and Kalu really got going there late in the first half. Was that the look you guys were expecting? Was it them doubling and you guys kick it outside, or was that just a way that zone played out? Yeah, most definitely we knew when we get inside, they were going to dig it out. Because um, if you pass around the zone, they'll take you off the arc. And uh, unfortunately, it's kind of getting the teeth out there. So we knew uh, we wanted to get it in there and create some double teams, create some uh, mismatches on the opposite side. It obviously doesn't get any easier with this Maui Invitational coming up. How do you kind of learn from this and then leave it and then make sure you're playing better out there? Yeah, we got day off tomorrow just to kind of decompress. We got practice and then we leave uh, Saturday. So, you know, it's no time to feel sorry for ourselves at this moment. It sucks. Uh, but, you know, we all understand how big this week is for us and for the totality of our season. One more question. Any, benef you know, any benefits for a new team to have some adversity before you go out there and face a really tough team? Um, I mean, you probably asked me before the answer, no. But, <laughs> you know, hindsight, I guess. You know, try to take some positives from it. Um, it's a long season, and as you see, like around college basketball, um, there's upsets, or and I won't say upset and disrespect them like that, but um, everyone can be anybody on any given night, any given night, so you can't let this uh, get us down. We've got to prepare. Thanks, guys. Thanks.